Hey guys, let's talk about Riley Strain. Thanks for stopping back by my YouTube channel. Okay guys, so forgive this. I'm still in my workout clothes. I did work out today. Yay. Um, no makeup really, but I just, I wanted to come on here because, okay, so I believe it was Friday night. I had a dream about this young man, Riley Strain. And in the dream, I saw him go underneath water. I saw him come back up and he was floating. Okay. It, it was really quick. Okay. So today, hubby and I had to go. We, I was in the car for like four hours. We had to go like a couple of hours away and run so today we had to go like a couple of hours away so i was in the car for several hours so i was just kind of sitting there looking at nature it was a gorgeous day today the trees are in bloom it was so pretty the mountains it was just really pretty so i was just kind of like you know just relaxing and and when i do that a lot of times if i just like the radio was on in the background i was just zoning out and a lot of times if I do that, you know, spirit will come through, right? Um, well, today I was having, get it, having visions, getting visions. And so it started out, well, it, well, first of all, first of all, let me back up a little bit. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. I just, I wanted to try to get this up tonight though, so... Bear with me. <laughs> okay. So when I dreamt, Lee, it was kind of like when the dream started before I saw him go under the water and come back up and he was floating for like a split second. I felt, I don't know, like maybe I was on drugs or something like this, this weird feeling. Um, so today I was having these visions and I was seeing this man who was clearly, clearly very angry. Okay. Um, and my head was feeling like it was going to explode, but like I was, I don't know. It didn't feel like any of the times I've ever gotten drunk. So maybe it was like drugs or something. Um, so anyway, this guy was clearly angry. He was shouting at someone who I couldn't, in my vision, I couldn't see who he was shouting at. He was like, get the F out of here. What the F are you doing here? Who the fuck do you think you are? You know, excuse my language. Um, and he was like saying it like, it was almost like rhythmically. So almost maybe as if a person with mental illness or something, um, maybe like a severe mental illness, he was like yelling it out and he was saying it like rhythmically. Like, get the fuck out of here. Who the fuck do you think you are? What the fuck do you think you're... It was bizarre. Like I can't even like mock it. And I don't mean to mock this person. Don't, don't, please don't take it that way. I'm just trying to get my point across. Like it was very rhythmically. <laughs> Rhythmic is the only word I can think of, okay? Um, he was really, really angry. And I was feeling like this, I don't know, this bizarre feeling. So do you know if you take, like, if you get really, really sick and you take, like, cough medicine and you feel like your head's detached from your body, it was kind of like that, but it was, like, so much more intense. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so I was hearing this guy over and over again, and then I was hearing another guy's voice saying, man, get the fuck out of here. I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. What are you doing? I didn't do anything. And he was kind of like responding to the guy. Okay. 
So I'm sitting there thinking, is this this Riley guy? Is that, you know, like, did he get into some kind of verbal alter altercation with someone? So then, okay. So then I'm literally seeing three guys and one woman. And I, I don't know why, I don't know how I know this, <laughs> um, but I feel like they witnessed whatever happened. Whatever transpired, these four people witnessed it. I also feel that two of them, so two guys, and possibly the guy that was in the altercation, a total of three people, okay, the guy that was in the altercation with who I think was Riley Strain, and two of these guys that saw what went on, they took off. They hauled ass out of there. Now, did they haul ass out of there because something happened? You know, did they leave temporarily or are they permanently like vanished, gone out of Nashville type of thing? I don't know. Um, but I know, you guys, I don't know how I know, but I know <sighs> this young man, Riley, I know he got into some kind of altercation with this guy. Something happened between them. I couldn't, I couldn't see anything physical happening between them. I just saw the guy, saw the guy crystal clear. I can describe, I, I can, I'd be glad to let the police know if they want to hear, but I can describe the guy perfectly that was doing the rhythmic yelling and he was clearly on something I don't I don't know what but I could feel it um, and maybe there was some mental illness there maybe that's what I was feeling I'm not sure 100% but some kind of altercation took place between them okay so I'm hearing all this and I'm getting all this and then and then I didn't see or hear anything for probably 45 minutes. And then all of a sudden, I was seeing Riley, um, like what he looks like. I was seeing him and I was feeling, I don't know, I can't describe it. Like, it's, it didn't, it wasn't like he was just drunk, okay? I wonder if, someone drugged him or if he took did he take some kind of drug while he was drinking I I don't know I don't know but it was more than just intoxication from alcohol you know and you know everybody's been in college or the people that have been in college even at that age or high school we've all drank and gotten drunk at some point probably most of us and there was so much more to it than just the alcohol effects and I, I I know that I don't know how I know that but I know that it's like I was feeling it but I know that um I, I feel horrible for his parents I can't imagine you know the not knowing <sighs> that's gotta be like torture um but I have to say, and I'm usually spot on about this, you know, with my gifts the way they work, I can tell if someone's alive or gone, if they pass, and I'm usually spot on about that. I could be off on other details, but I'm usually spot on about that, and I don't feel like he's still here. I don't. I think he was gone pretty quickly after he disappeared. And I hope to God I'm wrong. I hope by some miracle, I hope they find him. I hope, I don't know. I hope they find him. I, I honestly hope he's okay. Um, but I don't think he is. I, I don't think he is, honestly. Um, so I know this is short. And I know there's not a lot of information. But that's how it is sometimes for me. Sometimes I get like a lot of stuff. And sometimes I get little bits and pieces. And unfortunately, you know, keep the family in your prayers. Keep him in your prayers, you know. Um, you guys, like, I hope I'm wrong. But 
I don't think I am. Um, so be nice, be kind, stay safe, stay healthy. And that about does it for me, guys. Bye. I wanted to add something else in here. <sighs> Somebody had messaged me and said that Riley was kicked out of a bar and that like his fraternity brothers, he just left on his own. Guys, how can you leave one of your frat brothers? Just let him leave like that. I mean, I'm not, look, I'm not trying to say this is anybody's fault. And I'm sure these guys feel terrible, his buddies. But stick together, you guys. Like, don't freaking do that. If one of your friends, if you go to a bar with somebody and that friend gets kicked out, then you need to go with them and make sure they get somewhere safe. If you get them back to the hotel and you know they're okay, then you can leave them and go back to the bar. But don't freaking do that, you guys. Don't do that to your friends. Like, come on. That just blows my mind. I, I don't know.